church, and I just want to welcome everybody and thank you all for, for coming today. I believe that God has brought you here on purpose. Whatever your reason for being here, I believe that the Lord has ordered your steps, and I'm just praying that today the Lord will speak to you. And right now, we get to do something very, very cool. We are going to be having our baby dedications today. So can I have all the families and their children come on up to the stage? Let's give them a hand as they come forward. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at these beautiful children. Oh my gosh, oh. right all the way this way, sir. Wow. The Lord is growing and multiplying his church. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. In the Word, in the Old Testament, the Lord actually gave a command that the firstborn male of every household would be dedicated and set apart for the Lord. We saw this in 1 Samuel when Hannah, who was unable to have children, went to the temple of the Lord and fell down on her knees and said, Lord, if you will grant me a child, I promise that he will serve you all the days of his life and be dedicated to you. We see this also with Christ. He was brought to the temple, and he was dedicated to the Lord. God himself, as an infant, was still brought to the temple and dedicated to the Lord for his purposes. And while there is no biblical obligation for us to do that now, as a way to honor the Lord for the gift that he's given us in our children we at New Wine Family Church dedicate our children to the Lord. This is not just offering our children to, to the Lord to use because they are his anyway. What it is, it is a dedication as parents to raise this child up in the things of the Lord. In Proverbs it says, train up a child in the way that they should go, and when they are old they will not depart from it. That word train means to narrow the way, and it also means to dedicate to something. So... Part of training a child is dedicating them to a purpose. And here, we dedicate them to God's purpose. So, as a, as a pastor, it is my privilege to pray over the, the, the children. As a congregation, it is our responsibility to help these families in raising their children. Not just in praying for them, but also modeling a life that is becoming a Christian. So, I charge you as a congregation that you live a life that exemplifies Christ here on the earth. And so whenever any of these children see you, they know what Christ is supposed to look like and they can pattern their life after you. So I charge us as a family to do this. Now I'm blessed to, to pray over them, but I believe it is the responsibility of the parents to dedicate the child to the Lord. I, I possess no special power as a pastor. I possess the responsibility simply to lead and to teach but it is the, the father and the mother who God has blessed these children with, and it is they who will pray. So I would like to call the Adams family forward. <laughs> Don't worry, we, we told them ahead of time. They're like, oh my gosh, he just put them on blast on the spot. No, would you all come forward? Let's welcome them as they dedicate their son, Holt. We thank you for this amazing opportunity to be before your body, for the body of Christ. And we're just thankful, Father, that uh, we have the opportunity to, to dedicate Holt today. We're thankful for his purpose, the plan that you have for his life. As he is into the family as a soldier of Christ. And, and that his life and, uh, and us as a family is to glorify the king. And to... Uh, <laughs> And he was born to be on the mic, I believe. <laughs> we love you, Lord. And, and we just thank you, Lord, and, and thank you for New Wine Family Church. Let me get some mic time, brother. <laughs> and Lord, pray for me. Because they... <laughs> thank you, guys. Love you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 
that is for sure Danny's son. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I would like to invite the Becerra family to come forward. This is Asa and Antonio and their mother Amaris. Lord, I thank you, God. Thank you for my babies here. And I'm dedicating my babies to you, Lord, and that you direct them and whatever your purpose is for them, that I or this world, whatever has, that doesn't come against that, Lord. And I'm asking you that as they grow, that they grow stronger in you, Lord, and that they grow up when it's their turn to be mommies and daddies, God, that they teach their children and uh, how to love you and to teach them all about you, God, and what you're all about. And I thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 And we have the Edwards family dedicating their daughter, Janae. Would you all come forward? Good morning. Uh, let's pray. Dear Father, we truly, truly thank you for this day. We thank you for the simple fact that we are here to see this day. Also, we thank you for this beautiful gift of Janae. You know, uh, we ask that you will guide our life. But as uh, Pastor Jesse said, that she's already yours, but we hope that our life will show that we're dedicated to your love and your honor, and we will hope that she find her own dedication for you. Also, Father, we want to thank you for the fact that she was born into the New Wine Church, you know, such a wonderful family. And uh, we will continue to hope that we will continue to blow the standing in uh, honor of you, Father. Also, as always, we pray for peace, love, and understanding in this world. And these are our prayers we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And we have the Moore family. Julie, Evan, Kenley, dedicating their daughter, Elin. I wrote mine down, sorry. <laughs> I'm not funny like him. So. <laughs> Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this treasured child of mine. Although you have entrusted her to me, I know she belongs to you. Like Hannah offered Samuel, I dedicate my child to you, Lord. I recognize that she is always in your care. Help me as a parent, Lord, with my weaknesses and imperfections. Give me strength and godly wisdom to raise this child after your holy word. Please supply what we lack. Keep my child walking on the path that leads to eternal life. Help her to overcome the temptations in this world and the sin that would so easily entangle her. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And last, but certainly not least, the Zinda family. Jared and Becca dedicating their daughter, Kenley. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we just um, come to you humbly with understanding that this is your, this is your daughter, this isn't ours. And um, Lord, we uh, don't take that responsibility lightly. Uh, we understand that you are uh, fully in control in everything that we do. Anything that's provided for, their, for my daughter, is going to be through you. Any love that you're going to get, I hope that my wife and I are an example of your love, um, of providing uh, just as you would provide um, for us. And Lord, through that example, I pray that you, um, I pray that you show yourself uh, through us so that Kenley understands exactly who you are. And yes. um, in that understanding that she becomes a warrior for you, yes, uh, that she becomes a, a fighter for your will, a preacher of your word, a Lord, just a, a wonderful woman to God. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's just bow our heads and, and, and pray. Father, we thank you for these beautiful, amazing families. Lord, we are just praying for your blessing upon them. We thank you for every single family that is represented here. We ask, Lord, for your blessing, your protection, and your provision. We thank you, Lord, that all the days of their life, these beautiful children will serve you. We thank you, Lord, that you are empowering the parents and granting them strength, 
wisdom, knowledge, understanding, patience, and endurance in order to raise these children up in the way that they should go so when they are old, they will not depart from it. Father, we dedicate these children to you. We acknowledge that the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. We acknowledge that everything comes through you, was made by you, and was made for you. Father, these children are yours. Help us as a church family to be an example to them, to love and support their parents, to help teach and model the life of a Christian to them, and support them in whatever they need. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for these children. They are a heritage from you. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Thank you for these rewards, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 Before you all take your leave, we have a certificate of uh, dedication. It simply says, uh, this child was presented to the Lord in dedication this ninth day of November in the year of our Lord, 2014, in accordance with the word of God at New Wine Family Church in the city of Woodland Hills, California. Train up a child in the way that they should go, and when he is old, they will not depart from it. In Jesus' name, Antonio. There you go. Miss Asa. There you go. Go ahead, Romeo. And then we also have a, a, a little gift bag for, for you and the children. In there is their first children's Bible. There's uh, also a, uh, a book called God Gave Me You. Just a, a beautiful reminder to your children uh, that they are a gift to minister to them. And then also there's a CD in there. Uh, it's called Lullaby Confessions, done by our own worship uh, uh, director, Barry Buckner. And it is the word of God in song. So you can play it, and the Lord is constantly ministering to their children, even while they sleep. So thank you all for coming. Thank you for the privilege of praying and being a part of your family. God bless you all.